Hello students, I am your 15 minute teacher. I will be teaching you mathematics for 15 minutes. Are you ready? The next mathematics lesson that I will explain to you for 15 minutes is how to rewrite linear equations from standard form to slope intercept form and vice versa. As we all know that an equation is said to be linear equation in two variables. It is written in the standard form of AX plus BY equals C Where A, B and C are real numbers A is the numerical coefficient of X Which should not be equal to 0 And B is the numerical coefficient of Y Which is also not equal to 0 The form of the slope intercept is y is equal to mx plus b where m and b are real numbers m here is represented by the slope and b is represented by y intercept our goal here is to transform the equation from standard form to slope intercept form we will be using some properties that we already encountered in our previous discussion. Now let us try this example. We will be transforming first from standard into slope intercept form. We have 2x minus 5y equals 10. Always remember that we will be transforming the standard form which is ax plus by equals c into slope intercept form which is y equals mx plus b as you can observe the slope intercept form is arranged in a manner where the y with the numerical coefficient of 1 is located in the left side of the equation so we will be transferring the term with the variable x to do that we will be using the subtraction property of equality this property aims to eliminate a term and transfer this term to the other side of the equation we need to transfer the 2x to the right side of the equation so we will be subtracting 2x to the left side of the equation since we are using SPE, we will also subtract 2x to the right side of the equation. Then simplify. 2x will be eliminated. We have negative 5y equals 10 minus 2x. Since the numerical coefficient of y in slope intercept form is 1, we will be eliminating negative 5. To do that we will be using division property of equality. So, that is negative 5y divided by negative 5. 10 divided by negative 5. Negative 2x divided by negative 5. That is y equals negative 2, plus 2 over 5x. We will be arranging the equation into slope intercept form where the term with variable x should be the leading term of the right side of the equation. So the slope intercept form of 2x minus 5y equals 10 is y equals 2 over 5x minus 2. Example 2. We have negative x plus 3y equals 9. Always remember that we will be transforming the standard form which is ax plus by equals c into slope intercept form which is y equals mx plus b as you can observe the slope intercept form is arranged in a manner where the y with the numerical coefficient of 1 is the only variable in the left side of the equation so we will be transferring the term with the variable x. To do that we will be using the addition property of equality. 
This property aims to eliminate a term and transfer this term to the other side of the equation. We need to transfer the negative x to the right side of the equation. So, we will be adding x to the left side of the equation. Since we are using a p, we will also add x to the right side of the equation. Then simplify. Negative x is now eliminated. We have 3y equals 9 plus x. Since the numerical coefficient of y in slope intercept form is 1, we will be eliminating 3. To do that we will be using division property of equality. So that is 3y divided by 3. 9 divided by 3. x divided by 3. That is y equals 3, plus 1 over 3x. We will be arranging the equation into slope-intercept form, where the term with variable x should be the leading term in the right side of the equation. So the slope-intercept form of negative x plus 3y equals 9 is y equals 1 over 3x plus 3. Example 3 we have 2x minus y equals negative 2. Always remember that we will be transforming the standard form which is ax plus by equals c into slope intercept form which is y equals mx plus b. As you can observe the slope intercept form is arranged in a manner where the y with the numerical coefficient of 1 is the only variable in the left side of the equation. So we will be transferring the term with the variable 2x. To do that we will be using the subtraction property of equality. This property aims to eliminate a term and transfer this term to the other side of the equation. We need to transfer the 2x to the right side of the equation. So we will be subtracting 2x to the left side of the equation. Since we are using SP, we will also subtract a 2x to the right side of the equation. Then simplify. 2x is eliminated. We have negative y equals negative 2 minus 2x. Since the numerical coefficient of y in slope-intercept form is positive 1, we will be eliminating negative. To do that we will be using division property of equality. So that is negative y divided by negative 1. Negative 2 divided by negative 1. Negative 2x divided by negative 1. That is y equals 2 plus 2x. We will be arranging the equation into slope-intercept form, where the term with variable x should be the leading term in the right side of the equation. So the slope-intercept form of 2x minus y equals negative 2 is y equals 2x plus 2. Next we will be transforming the slope-intercept form into its standard form. Let us try this example. y equals 3x plus 10. Always remember that we will be transforming the slope-intercept form which is y equals mx plus b into standard form which is ax plus by equals c. As you can observe the standard form is arranged in a manner where the terms with the variables x and y are in the left side of the equation. So we will be transferring the 3x to the left side of the equation. To do that we will be using subtraction property of equality. We need to transfer the 3x to the left side of the equation. 
so we will be subtracting 3x to the right side of the equation. Since we are using SPE, we will also be subtract 3x to the left side of the equation. Then simplify. 3x is eliminated. We have y minus 3x equals 10. Since the in the standard form, the leading term has a variable x. So, we will be arranging the equation into standard form, where the term with variable x is our leading term. So the standard form of y equals 3x plus 10 is negative 3x plus y equals 10. Let us another example. y equals 2 thirds x minus 5. Always remember that we will be transforming the slope intercept form which is y equals mx plus b into standard form which is ax plus by equals c as you can observe the standard form is arranged in a manner where the terms with the variables x and y are in the left side of the equation so we will be transferring the 2 over 3x or 2 thirds x into the left side of the equation to do that we will be using subtraction property of equality we need to transfer the 2 third x to the left side of the equation. So we will be subtracting 2 thirds x to the right side of the equation. Since we are using SPE, we will also be subtracting 2 thirds x to the right side of the equation. Then simplify. 2 thirds x is eliminated. We have y minus 2 thirds x is equal to negative 5. Since there is a fraction, we need to eliminate. To do that we will be using multiplication property of equality. Or multiply the LCD in both sides of the equation. The LCD of each term is 3. So we will be multiplying 3 in the left side of the equation. Since we used MPE, we will also multiply 3 in the right side of the equation. Then simplify. 3 times y that is equal to 3y. 3 times negative 2 thirds x that is equal to negative 2x. 3 times negative 5 that is equal to negative 15. Since the standard form, the leading term has a variable x. So, we will be arranging the equation where the term with variable x is our leading term. So the standard form of y equals 2 thirds x minus 5 is negative 2x plus 3y equals negative 15. Last example. We have y equals 1 half x plus 2 thirds. Always remember that we will be transforming the slope intercept form which is y equals mx plus b into standard form which is ax plus by equals c. As you can observe the standard form is arranged in a manner where the terms with the variables x and y are in the left side of the equation. So we will be transferring the 1 half x the left side of the equation. To do that we will be using subtraction property of equality. We need to transfer the 1 half x to the left side of the equation. So we will be subtracting 1 half x to the right side of the equation. Since we are using SPE, we will also be subtracting 1 half x to the left side of the equation. Then simplify. 1 half x is eliminated. We have y minus 1 half x is equal to 2 thirds. Since there is a fraction, we will be eliminating the fraction. To do that we will using multiplication property of equality. Or we will multiply the LCD in both sides of the equation. The LCD of each term is 6. 
So we will be multiplying 6 in the left side of the equation. Since we used MPE, we will also multiply 6 in the right side of the equation. Then simplify. 6 times y that is equal to 6y. 6 times negative 1 half x that is equal to negative 3x. 6 times 2 third that is equal to 4. Since the standard form of the leading term has a variable x, we will be arranging the equation where the term with variable x is our leading term. So the standard form of y equals 1 half x plus 2 thirds is negative 3x plus 6y equals 4. That's it. We are done in writing linear equation from standard form to slope intercept form and vice versa. I will leave in exercises for you to practice what we've learned.